previously on Survivor Roleplay. Hi Anna. How are you getting on with the bailing? Not bad. I did have a small problem with the PTO shaft. I had to use some tools in Penny's workshop, as this farm only seems to have hammers. Have you seen those people? No. Which people? They're looking around the farm. They're acting like they own the place. Ah, Peter must have arranged their visit. He's selling the farm. Hi, how are you doing? Good afternoon. What brings you to the farm? I'm a prospective buyer. I was under the impression that you knew I'd be here today. Would I be right in thinking you're Peter Wood? I wasn't told about your visit, but it's fine. My name's Wynn, and I'm the farm manager here. Peter Wood is the owner, but unfortunately, he didn't inform me about your visit. Please continue to look around, though, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Interesting. Nice to meet you, Wynn. I'm keen on buying the farm. Nice, although I must admit, I'm a little concerned about my future here. Oh, really? In what way? Well, I don't know if the new owner will need me as farm manager. I see. Well, if I was to buy the farm, I'd be looking to employ a manager. Ah. Do you know any? <laughs> I can take a hint. I'm thinking of putting an offer in, so how about we meet at the pub later? Yeah, that sounds good. How does 6pm sound? Uh, 6pm, yeah. Yeah, that's great. I've just got the harvesting to do here, but I can make it. Good. See you there. Right, well, let's get cracking with the harvest dig again. Very interesting. A prospective buyer on the farm, although I think actually, from what Anna said, uh, there might have been some other people as well didn't see them so they might have already gone but yeah he was obviously still looking around looking at the tractors and stuff um, I, I don't know exactly what's happening with the tractors at this stage because I do kind of own them a bit I guess I uh, know they must belong to the farm mustn't they it's all a bit awkward I did put some of my own money into them a little bit but yeah yeah I guess they go with the farm it's something we'll have to speak to Peter about, unfortunately. I don't want to speak to Peter, but there we go. Just got to be mature about it. But, yeah, if if this new prospective buyer buys the farm, and I can stay farm manager here, that would be amazing. Obviously, in the ideal world, I want to buy the farm myself. I just don't have the money. I could go to the bank, but even if I did, it, it would just leave me with so many money worries. I would never be happy because I'll just be continually stressing about not having the money it'd just be terrible so we'll just have to see what happens we'll just have to let somebody else buy the farm and then just hope that my job is secure here but if not I, I've got some experience now so I guess I could just go and find another farm to work on I don't like this sort of uncertainty it's not very nice but it's better than living with serious money worries and potentially debt. We do not want debt. But it seems nice enough, um, so we'll just have to, um, yeah, just have to see what he's like and see if he does buy it. I don't know if he mentioned his, did he mention his name? I can't remember if he mentioned his name. Oh well, I, I'm sure we'll find out.
our trailer is full, I think, and we do still have a bit left to harvest here, but the combine is almost full as well, 90% full. So when we get back up to the top, we're gonna to have to head over to the grain merchant. We can get a ticket and we can get paid. Um, I ha actually sent Anna to the farm to look after the animals because I haven't really had the time to look after them. So Anna's doing a good job over there. Uh, and I thought I'd give her a break from the bailing. As for the final field, or final two fields, I can't remember exactly how many we have left, they're gonna be chopped. We just don't need to have quite so much straw. And there is a benefit of chopping and putting a natural layer of fertilizer on these fields. As for this headland here, which didn't grow very well, uh, we'll probably just cultivate it, I would have thought. Yep, so our trailer is full. Let's get over to the grain merchant. As for Penny's workshop, I just, I don't know what's happening. Obviously, it's all Peter's. Peter Wood owns everything. Uh, if this place sells, the ownership of that workshop will transfer to the new owner, obviously. And then I guess it's down to them what happens. I haven't heard from Penny. I don't know where she is. Uh, last thing I heard was she was staying at the pub, but Dennis hasn't mentioned that again. So I guess she's moved on. And um, yeah, it, it, it's really depressing every time I talk about her because it just brings back all those memories. And you know, it, it was good. They were happy times, but. In the end, I guess they weren't happy times at all. Anyway, Anna's in there, look. Tending to the cows and the calves. We'll get over to the grain merchant. So many tickets. <laughs> All these fines. No, these are good tickets. So that was obviously a full trailload. So that was 14,500 litres, 793 pounds per 1,000 litres, which means our grand total there was 11,499 pounds. I'm not too sure if the next load is going to be the same. We might get another full load because we do have another field. And yeah, we do have just one more field after this one. But yeah, I can't remember exactly which crop it is. It's either going to be oats or barley. Just have a quick look as we pass. Should be quite obvious by looking at the crop. Uh, that is a barley crop. So yeah, we should get another full load. As for this crop, it's just I don't know. I don't know why it's so behind. Uh, what we could do actually is whole crop in this field because it clearly hasn't grown very well. And it's not ripening terribly well. So uh, we could whole crop it. Do silage. I have to think about it. I'll do some checks on it and just see how advanced it is. But it really wants to be harvested. We've got so much baling to do. And loading bales. We've got to load them all up and sell them. We don't need to keep any more because we've already got loads. That's good, get some weight in the front of the trailer. And we'll be on our way. We'll finish this field. Making record time. Oh wait. Oh. Well, the trailer is about half full, so we are doing well. Ah, oh, no, is that? That's Dennis. 
I think. <laughs> Why is he wearing a horse riding hat? Or helmet? I don't, I, I'm not familiar with horse riding and all the stuff you need to wear and stuff. Yeah. Dennis, how are you doing? Oh, Win. Well, I was just having a quick chat with Alice here. There's Anna. Oh, oh right. Well, well. You could have told me earlier. Oh, sorry about that, Alice. Right, well. Just came to see how you're doing. I'm doing alright. Very busy, though. I don't suppose you uh, know anything else about Penny and where she is. Look out behind you, Anna. <laughs> There's a cow. Um, yeah, is she still staying at the pub? Oh, no. Oh, she went long ago. Any idea where to? Oh, I don't remember stuff too well. Of course, she wasn't really talking to me because I sort of let the secret slip. Of course, yeah. So, no idea. Oh, she said she was moving north, I don't know where. It's a very friendly cow you've got there, Anna. <laughs> oh, well. I won't keep you, Win. Okay, Dennis. Well, I'll be around the pub later. Going to be speaking to uh, a potential buyer of the farm. What? Our farm? Someone's buying this farm? Yeah, Peter's selling it. Oh, oh dear. I wish I could buy it. I thought you didn't want it. Oh, I don't want the trouble. I don't want to do any work, but I like owning it. And you wouldn't be tempted to buy it and then I do the work? Oh, I haven't got the brass. It's all tied up in the pub. And you're enjoying the pub work? Oh, why? Uh, I employ a manager. I don't do much. I never do. Too busy looking after you. <laughs> Well, that's that's true. Anyway, must get on. Good to see you again, Dennis, and uh, love the hat. Oh, safety first, win. Never forget. Right, where were we, Alice? Oh, Dennis. <laughs> oh, he's brilliant. So good. I wish Dennis would buy the farm, but yeah. I think the chances of that are very, very small. Right, I'm just wondering if I should take this half full. Mm, I'm not sure. Well, we're going to have to just drive past this field because otherwise we're not going to get the combine in. We're going to have to walk back. Uh, actually, I could take a shortcut. If I'm feeling nimble, I can jump the wall. There we go. Head back up to the top this way. close to the wall. I can get it from here. We'll put our hose in. There we go. And then very, very carefully back up this track until we get to the gate. So as I said, we are chopping. I wonder if we can unload the combine when we're ready over the wall. That would definitely save some time and quite a bit of faffing about. Uh, I think we will be able to, but we'll probably have to pull the tractor forward because yeah, otherwise we're going to be in the tree. But what we're doing here by chopping this is putting that nutrients back into the ground. Can't quite see where we've been, but it is chopping. I can assure you and then of course we can get the money for this. So we, we've certainly done a good job this year of generating money for the farm and we're not finished yet. We've just got the corn field and we've got the mystery oat field, uh, which for some reason doesn't want to ripen in a hurry. Probably different soil type over there. 
it gets enough sunshine, but oh, it might have also been drilled late. Was it drilled later than these fields? It was a while ago. But it's alright, because we've got plenty of other stuff to do in the meantime. All the bale moving and selling. Yeah, I think Anna's going to be tied up for the rest of the day. Now it's four o'clock now, so she will probably be heading home soon. She is only here on work experience, not full time. Doodaloo win. Blimey, that's dusty. Ah, I think I'll put my bike over here. Getting too many visitors. Hey, hey, oh, here's one now. Blimey, get away. Never known a bike to be in such a demand. Ah, ah, it's camouflage. Blends well with the ivy. I thought it was green. Finished. Yeah, so obviously we want to sell everything which we've harvested today. Need to get that money safely in the bank account. And then, well, I suppose we could use some of that money on some kind of forage harvester. It will probably end up being a rental because they're just so expensive. Um, but yeah, if we have two fields we have corn, we have oats, both of which could go through a forager, both of which could go through a combine. But I think maybe a forager would be the best idea. Silage is worth a lot, as we know. All right, so we'll just put this close to the edge so we can unload. We can get a little bit more in the front. And now we're going to have to head off. So that must be another 14,500 litres. I don't think the price will have changed in the time between the previous load and this one, so it should be another 11,400. And 99 pounds. Very, very nice indeed. That is exactly the same. Brilliant. And now I just gotta watch the clearance there. Yeah, we're good. So <laughs> really not much in there. But it is gonna have to go because obviously it's not the same crop as what we have left in the field. I put the auger in. Lower the header and we'll park this here for today. Hmm, the slip of paper they've given me is probably worth more than that grain was. 209 litres and we made 166 pounds. So, actually, no, that would be a very expensive slip of paper. Still, it's 166 pounds. I did see Anna cycle away as I was in there, so she's finished for the day, it's now half five. We need to get to the pub, meet up with this man, I, he might have mentioned his name, I can't remember. I don't think he did. I'll have to find out. Anyway, yeah, we're going to park this in the yard, and tomorrow we need to really start thinking about foragers. Also, we need to start thinking about cultivation and drilling. Um, but yeah, we want to get really all the crops out of the fields first. So we'll just pop this here and I'll jump into the Land Rover. It's been a good day. Hopefully uh, the new owner also wants to rebuild the farmhouse. That would be nice. It's looking like a real mess actually. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, there he is. You can barely miss him with that coat on. Highly visible. There's Dennis as well. Hello, we meet again. So, do you run other farms in this area? I have one farm, but I'm mostly involved with commercial property developments. Ah, that seems like a curious combination. Farming's hard. If you get it right, you can make some serious money from property development. One day, I'd like to leave farming behind and focus on that instead. Then why do you want to buy another farm now? Well, <laughs> between you and me, I'm actually buying it to help out a friend. Hmm, <laughs> he must be a good friend. Farms don't come cheap. She. My friend is a she. In fact, you may know her. Oh. Really? I'll buy you a drink. Let's discuss this further.